Gorbachev from Scarborough Missions. She is currently serving the Fatima Parish. Ashley, would you like to add anything else to it? Uh, yeah, so I have, um, I'm originally from Canada uh, and I've been here in Guyana serving the Diocese and the Catholic Church uh, for the past three years. Yeah, so um, tell us how did you come up with Encounter? Uh, so when I was in university back home, I was part of a Catholic club and that Catholic club had uh, what were called summits and so summits were pretty much encounter nights. They were nights of Eucharistic adoration which had confession uh, and praise and worship music and it had all of those components um, integrated in it and for me that was really life-giving when I was in university and I wanted to share it here in Georgetown. Nice, that sounds really great. So how long has Encounter been around for? Um, so it's, it's fairly new Encounter started last year uh, in January 2016 um, and we are continuing into this year. We're actually having an encounter this Friday at Sacred Heart uh, for uh, those who want to come. 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. So do you get support from other religious bodies? Yes, yes we do. Uh, I've had people who've attended encounters tell me that they've brought their other Christian denomination friends to encounter um, one time, one of my friends told me that they brought a Muslim to encounter to um, the prayer night. And overall, I've received good feedback from just experiencing the church, especially the Catholic Church, in a different way. Mm -hmm. So, encounter, what is it all really, really about? So, encounter is adoration. It is Eucharistic adoration. And for those of you who do not know what Eucharistic adoration is, um, as Catholics, we believe that Jesus becomes present in the Eucharist when the priest consecrates the host. And by having the Eucharist with us, present with us, during that evening, it is a time being with Jesus himself. Um, and so there's actually this lovely quote that I, um, anyways, it's my favorite. And it goes, when you're in front of the Blessed Sacrament during adoration, it's like sun tanning. When you sit out in the sun, you get brown, you, you tan. Just in the same fact, when you sit in front of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, something changes inside you. You become more Him. Um, and so even though that time in front of Jesus might not be um, emotionally uplifting or, you know, you might not feel um, like, oh, that was nice, but I didn't feel like I got something out of it. Yes. Know that whenever you're spending time in front of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, something changes within you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ashley. Could you tell us your next schedule for encounter, uh, the timing? Somewhere? What should other people out there expect from it? What should they look forward to? Um, so I'm actually really excited how Encounter has morphed and changed throughout this time. When we first started in January 20, 2016, yes, 2016 um, because adoration was new, people didn't know what to expect. And so now, now that it, it has gained momentum and people understand what adoration is and that it has been going on constantly, I found that the last couple encounters have been more cohesive and so the spirit of uh, the spirit of encounter has changed and become more reflective and so it allows people to enter in to reflect on their lives but to also have that time and space to be able to ask Jesus what he is asking of them um, especially in terms of their lives so whether they're studying their future plans um, and just also about their vocation. So is God calling you to something greater? Is God calling you to be a missionary? Is he calling you to become a religious sister or a brother or a priest? And if so, I really do think the encounter is a great time to reflect on those things and to ask yourself where Jesus is calling you to. Um, it gives you that space and it also gives you that time with priests, whether you wanna to go to confession or not, to be able to talk to them um, 
in, in privacy, but also to talk to them just for guidance and, um, you know, out of that confidence. So, yeah. so the next um, encounter will be on? Oh yeah, so the next encounter is going to be this Friday at Sacred Heart Church from 6.30 to 8.30. So Ashley, do you see encounter being like lasting us for the entire 2017? Will it be running for the entire 2017? Yeah, I really hope uh, that encounter continues forward. So this is actually my last year uh, serving in Georgetown um, in Guyana. And I've already started actually making preparations to hand over encounter to a couple individuals. And so in this time of transition, we're already, uh, I guess, planning for for my transition out of Encounter and other people will step in. And so I do hope that Encounter will last um, and that it will become sort of a tradition here in yes. Georgetown, that it will continue to happen not only here in town, but also they'll, it will start in other places like in, um, in the interior. And even actually this past, this past Christmas, um, one of, one of uh, my youths uh, went to went back to I Shelton for Christmas and she brought encounter there uh, And so I still have yet to touch back with her about how it went, mm -hmm. but um, Yeah, so it's it's making it's way. wonderful. Yes, mm -hmm. it's great yes. Thank you very much. Ashley. We wish you God's richest blessings. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being Thanks. with us today